what is up you guys i hope you're having a wonderful day today i really want to do my nails and i haven't been to the salon in like months now because i bought my own kit and whatever to do my own nails and so i've been doing my nails since then and i honestly really enjoy doing my nails it just takes me freaking long time for people that don't know me or don't know i bite my nails so freaking short that i don't even know how short i leave them and they hurt so much and it's just subconsciously like i don't even do it because i love it no i hate it i it, and it hurts like who wants to bite their nails it's just a really bad habit that i picked up ever since then i've been trying to like stop that very bad habit i've used all kinds of methods those nail polishes that taste so bad acrylics anything and the only thing that i've noticed that allows my grow my nails to grow is by putting acrylics that's the only way that's what we're gonna be doing today um if you guys have any like alternatives or i don't know tips on how to stop biting my nails please let me know but in the meantime i'm gonna keep doing my nails and so yeah today is nail day since my nails look extremely ratchet but by the end of this video they won't look so bad they will look like chef's kiss right and this is like my box of thingamajiggies um i need to get out my nail we gotta prep our nails first and don't come for me i am no expert either i might be really messing up my nails I shouldn't be saying this because then people are gonna be coming out for me but um yeah i mean i'm gonna do what helps me and yeah if i'm doing it right or wrong i don't know i've seen so many tiktoks and i think i know how to do it and i've been doing it so don't come for me don't teach me don't coach me don't tell me i am gonna do me right all right now that we got that out of the way we are gonna start so and by the way, all the things that I'm using, I can link them for you if you want to. Everything, I got it on Amazon. And yeah, if you need it, I'll link it down below for you. Anyways, we're starting. And I don't drill them too much. I just drill like the dead skin around my finger. Sorry about that, uh, my camera died, but all I did was prep the nails and fit them to my nails, so you really didn't miss much. I'm just dehydrating my nails now. Now I am gonna put glue directly on my nail as nail polish, and then we're gonna cure it. And we're gonna cure it for 30 seconds and then we're gonna start gluing the nails okay so now that i have my nails cured so these are the nails as you can see i shaped the nail a little bit from the inside just so it can better grip to my nails as you can, don't look at my nails are ugly but um yeah what we're gonna do is put glue in the nail and then we're gonna cure it in the light so that way it sticks get the glue and then we're gonna put it on the nail. And now straight on my nail. I need to have the light closed so that way I, I, I can like cure it really quick. And there it is. I'm very good now. I'm just gonna cure it for 10 more seconds just to make sure that it's very glued in there. And now we're gonna do that with the rest of our nails. And now that I think about it, I should have done my thumb last, but all right, we'll survive. This is how my hand looks. 
We're halfway there. You're a little bit crooked. <laughs> it does just my finger though, eh? <laughs> okay, now that my nails are glued, I am gonna be trimming them a little bit. I don't want them too, too long. And then with the filing, it's gonna be a little shorter, so I don't want to like cut them too short because they're gonna get shorter now it's time for filing As you can see, I've already finally finished filing. I cut them a little shorter than I would have liked, but it really doesn't matter at this point because I'm already getting tired. I've been at it for like a couple hours. So I'm gonna do this really cool blue design. Maybe I should put uh, the base first before I try this out. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's working. I painted them blue, but I still wanted to do a design on top. And I'll show you the, the inspo that I'm using. That's the inspo. I think I should do it with the very pastel blue. I think I'm just gonna go like, I'm gonna do two by two. Nails. Now I'm just switching the colors. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks cool. I don't know, I think I really like it. But now I'm gonna put the top coat. I actually put like the top coat also a little bit under my nail. That way it's not like extremely sharp. I'm gonna cure it. In the meantime, while I finish, I'm gonna send you guys with David and he's gonna be making breakfast for us. Take them. I'm taking you with me. All right, so we got butter, eggs, bacon. We don't have sourdough bread, but we're gonna use regular bread. We got the ham. And boom. Simple eggs, ham, bacon, mango juice, and well, for me, I put jalapeno jelly. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I finally finished my nails and I already cleaned up my space. So, I wanted to take the time to clean up and put everything away before I record it and shoot you. There. 
Don't they look pretty? They look a little bit thick, <laughs> but from afar, you can't really tell. Like, it just looks blue. Grooviness. There we go. And this is the end result. It's almost four, and it means that I should be getting at least cleaned up. I think I'm gonna do my hair first, and then we'll see from there. Okay, I kind of changed my mind. I'm not gonna do my hair anymore. I decided to just leave it like natural like that because I really don't want to do anything with my hair today, but I will do a little bit of makeup, just a minute, like a little bit. When I come to the shop, a little dolce what are you up to come say hi i'm almost one year old i was uh, gotten from the pound and now i'm here i am fed and worshipped by these humans they want to get to know you but i don't want to get to know them i don't even know them who are they so first i'm gonna brush my brows and then first i'm gonna use some eyebrow gel to brush my eyebrows Obviously, and just to keep them fluffy and upward. There we go. I don't know whether to use tinted moisturizer or foundation today. I honestly think I'm gonna use some tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna prime my face a little bit. That was the Master Prime by Maybelline and it's supposed to be like super hydrating and on the front I really like it. So it makes my makeup grip really well. Now I'm gonna go with the glow screen from Super Goop. Super liquidy. And I'm just gonna diffuse it too with my hands. Put some on your neck too. You should always be putting it on your neck. My freaking cat sheds so much hair lately. I have so many of his hairs in my freaking eyes. Now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows since they're already dry. I do light strokes, like very thin, light strokes. And then I do it from a different angle to get that high point of my eyebrow. Just stroke it, stroke, pencil. Lightly. Very light handed. Very light handed. And there. I do the other side. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to use. After I already put like my thing i don't know if i want to contour or just wear some blush just to make it super natural like super 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 natural makeup i'm gonna use this rare beauty love liquid blush i'm gonna use two little right here and then the same i'm gonna do this with my fingers And a little bit on my nose too. On the top. Look right there. Make it a little sun kiss. Maybe a little bit on my forehead. But with what you already have on your fingers, which is almost nothing. Just to add a little more. Should I add a little bit of concealer? My eyes look so dead. Do I look like I have heavy eyelids? I mean heavy eye have eye bags. Be honest. Yeah, right. Should I concealer? Just a little bit. Just the tiny bit. Okay. And then like... That's it. That's all the concealer I'm gonna use. And then... Yeah, they look a little bit better.
Okay, next, some highlighter, actually, yeah. A little bit of highlighter. I'm using Mesmerize by Ms. Selena. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the, like, little, I love to put a little bit on my nose. And just some, like, really highlight that high point. Now I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a siren look. So I'm going to do it in the inner corner of my eyes. It's going to be a little hard. There we go. Now I'm just looking at the second eye. Focus and record it. And I'm gonna like, you're know, almost about to end. You go on the other corner. And then look up of where you want it to end. Both ones are done. And now I'm gonna do my lashes. I like to do it like multiple times to make sure that it's like curling them. And now my lashes. By the way, there's something that I really wanted to show you guys, which is super exciting. So Kiss Cosmetics, they sent me a PR package and it had a bunch of eye and nail products. And since I already made my own nails at home i decided i'm gonna show you the lashes and which one and we're gonna decide which one to wear today i've never received so much product before and i'm definitely so grateful and so happy that i get to try so many falsies and nails i'm gonna show you guys what falsies i have i'm gonna show you the, bo the box okay so like we're gonna pick the falsies but i'm gonna show you what they what they sent me so this is the box really cool right and they sent me a bunch of like nails there we go they sent me pink nails too nude metallic or coral pink Ooh, metallic silver they sent me lash glue i haven't tried this one yet but i will soon and then the eyeliners that are also glue for falsies they look really cool and okay this is the good part so i got like one two three four five six, six pairs of no like seven I, I got eight. I already used two. Um, one of those were metal uh, metallic. They were magnetic lashes, and they were very interesting. Um, I would say I only would wear uh, magnetic lashes if it's just for a quick errand because they do kind of like stick out after a little while. Even if you put a lot of the magnetic like eyeliner that it's supposed to like bond it but i definitely prefer just gluing eyelashes and there was a pair that i really liked but i want to try a new pair today and so this is where we're picking so i got these like wispy i think i want to wear these maybe but i also got, i got a bunch of wispies but these are like more dramatic i'm gonna try i'm gonna try them another day and then these are matte black and then these the extra large these which are like supposed to look like extensions and the naked drama so pretty thank you kiss for sending me so many things i'm so grateful they're all so pretty and i have so many things to try out but today we're gonna try the 3d drama with a wet effect what lash drip i'll try these this is how they look 
I'm gonna try to carefully remove them from the tray. Very carefully. These are really pretty. Very long lashes, for sure. I might need to clip them a little bit, like bend them a little bit to like kinda make that eye shape. Now I'm gonna look for my glue. Honestly, the case lash glue as well. So we're gonna try that today too. It says super flex strip lash adhesive, 24 hour grip. We'll see how this goes. I usually use the duo, but since we have the the kiss right now, we're gonna see how long it lasts and how good it is. Gently remove lash from tray, sold separately, and then apply adhesive along lash band. Wait 30 seconds for I get adhesive to get tacky, and once tacky, apply lash along natural lash line. Very easy something I already know how to do. We're gonna grab our lash strip and then we're gonna, I like to directly put the glue in on the lash. Very liquidy. And the color is white, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna become transparent. And I like to blow on it to like make it dry faster. <laughs> I definitely need to clip them. <laughs> they won't budge. I'm gonna actually cut them like, like a big chunk. I made my eye cry. It wouldn't get stuck. But that's because it didn't fit my eye. We're gonna try this again. Oh my god. Look at the length. I'm just waiting for it to like get stuck in there. Oh, my goodness. No wonder I had to cut them. Look at that length. Ooh. My other eye is crying. They're extremely long. But I like it. It's dramatic. I'm gonna have to cut the other ones. And try to cut them at an angle because then it's gonna be poking your eye. I'm gonna put some glue. And then we wait. And then we're gonna put it in our eye. And here it is. They're still getting dry on the left side, but I must say they're extremely long. But I really do like how they look. I just need to add like a lipstick. Maybe like a brown shade of lipstick. And we're gonna outline our lips. And lastly, I'm gonna use this liquid lipstick, which is matte, not MAC, matte. And it's from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Turn On. And that's it. And yeah, that's for the makeup.